In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a page in Dreamweaver and apply a template to that page. It's actually quite simple in Dreamweaver if you follow the steps. One of the most important steps that you can do is to first create your template and have it in a folder named Templates. That's very important. The template that you create will be called a dot DWT file which means dynamic web template and we're going to place that into a folder called templates. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our website by going to site and here we're going to manage sites. I'm just going to show you the edit of this. It's going to be into our folder. This one's titled CCPS. So within that folder we have our templates folder and of course into that folder we have the uh, template file. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to put some text in here. I have some text already uh, copied so I'm going to paste that. Take some of this out here and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and insert an image over here just so you'll see how that's done. I'm going to go to insert image. The image should also exist within that folder for your website. Okay, I'm going to minimize the size a little bit and I'm going to give that a right justification there. So now it's over here in the right. Alright, now I'm down to the point where I can start to apply a template to this page. So I'm going to go to Dreamweaver's drop-down menu called Modify. I'm going to click that and I'm going to get down here and it says Templates. Another drop -out. flyout menu comes up when you hit Templates. It says Apply Template to Page. Now once I do that I will see that I have a template titled CCPS. So I'm going to click on that and I click Select and then I'm going to click Document Body. Once I do, I'm going to have this area that says Not Resolved. I'm going to click that and I'm going to connect it to Content. When I originally created my Dreamweaver template, I had an area called Content. And that's where the main body text is going to go. So I'm going to link it to this area called Content and click OK. Now you'll see that my page has come up here, but we don't have our header and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and test that. Let's test it in Safari. And now you'll notice that I have my header picture, which the header picture is in the folder, but it needs to apply it to the page, and then everything will come up. Even down here we have uh, a bottom text information block as well as a link right here to Mercer's website and we come back we'll see that we have over here we have our menu bar if we need to change that menu bar we can go ahead and uh, go back to our original template and then change that menus from that location we can also now go back into Dreamweaver and do a little bit of CSS styling and justify our margins and so forth. I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial, but I will, however, cover that in another tutorial. In this tutorial, however, I want you to really focus on how to create a simple basic page and then apply a template to that page. In this particular example we see CCPS, College of Continuing and Professional Studies, a menu bar over here. So this lets us apply a universal template to all of our pages in our website. It gives a uniformity as well as if we want to go back and change something in our template we just change it to that one template and then it applies it to all the pages in our website. Good luck and hopefully this helps you to understand how to apply templates using Dreamweaver.